Hey, good morning, SEC family. Hey, I'm excited uh, for this week's Wednesday morning devotion as we continue in our series uh, titled uh, The Beatitudes. Um, this week, we're going to focus on the word righteous. Uh, what does it mean uh, to be righteous? What, what does Jesus mean when he uh, says in Matthew 5, 6, when he says that it's blessed are those um, who are righteous? So we're going to talk about that and we're going to get my friend Andy's view on it. And I'm excited uh, for what we're going to talk about today on this Wednesday morning devotion. Hey, good morning, Second Chance Church family. Hey, it's Pastor Chad here. I'm with my friend Andy Kaler. Um, Andy's our director of production. And, you know, as we go through week and week and week of, the, of these Wednesday morning devotions, as I always say, um, this is just like a supplement. Um, uh, you know, if you listen to Dr. Blake's uh, podcast on leadership, it's a, it's a vitamin um, for uh, to help us to get through to Sunday. And that's kind of what this idea is behind our Wednesday morning devotions and just us having a conversation over scripture, um, a, a five to 10 minute video uh, for us to grow in our relationship with God. And, and if you're tuning in, um, I know that's exactly what you want to do. You want to strengthen your relationship with God. And so, so we are in the midst of a series called the Beatitudes and the Beatitudes are um, the very first um, topic or verse section um, that Jesus preaches when he taught, when he uh, preaches um, his famous Sermon on the Mount. And really, this is um, a fascinating uh, opening to um, a lot of information, a lot of things that, that Jesus spells out in this sermon. But for us, we're in this, this eight-week series, and we're taking uh, Beatitude one by one and um, just learning and growing from it. So, so this morning, I'm going to be in the NIV, and we're going to be in Matthew chapter 5, verse 6. Matthew chapter 5, verse 6. And, it, and, it's, and this is Jesus speaking here. He says, Blessed are those who hunger and thirst for righteousness, for they will be filled. And my friend Andy is going to read from the New Living Translation. And what I have here is God blesses those who hunger and thirst for justice, for they will be satisfied. Awesome. So Andy, just kind of tell me, what, what does that mean to you, especially in NLT when it talks about, you know, the righteous, um, uh, they want justice. What, is that, what does that kind of say to you? It's really been speaking to me um, through the week as um, just the beginning of it, as God blesses, mm -hmm. you know, and as I was thinking through my walk, my short little walk, that... Um, how I've dug into the word and I've listened to what he said and the more he's blessed me. Yeah. Yeah. And so the, you know, the, and at the end, you know, being, um, satisfied. Yeah. So yeah, yeah God satisfied, um, you feeling the satisfaction of God, you know, his love yeah. is just amazing. Yeah. And how awesome it is. If you just work at the word blessed, I yeah. mean, so let, let's put this into perspective. Uh, we have a creator, right? Uh, we have a God. And, and there's, that's absolutely, there's, there's no debate on that. We have a God. And, and, and our creator wants to bless us. I mean, if you really wrap your mind around that, I mean, uh, you know, when we think of, of gods from movies and stuff, it's, um, it's, it's all about power. It's all about authority. I mean, if I look at the Greek gods, right there, um, they're about, you know, uh, taking over and just, and just being these almighty rulers. But here we have a God that says, I, you know, we want to bless you and, and this is the way to be blessed. Right. You know, so, so I really like that. So, so, so when, when Jesus here, bless those who are hunger, uh, the hunger and thirst for righteousness, what does that word righteousness mean to you? The righteousness, um, doing it God's way. Yeah. You know. Yeah. I mean, um, taking your way out of it yeah, like, completely. That's good. That's good. And yeah. and just hunkering down and yeah. doing it His way. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, you know, and and doing my I study uh, and this week as I as I prepare the message, um, righteousness means a lot. I mean. 
we in society, we always want to talk about doing it right. We want to talk about righteousness. And, and there's one thing to say we're going to do it the right way. And there's another thing that says we want to live the right way, right? We want to live in righteousness. And, and, and when I look at righteousness, um, uh, the, the thought of, of relationship uh, comes to me. You know, my relationship with my friends, right? I mean, Andy and I, we've been, we've been friends for, I don't know how many years now, right? I mean, oh, a good five or six. Yeah, and yeah. We've, we've cried together, <laughs> we've laughed together, um, we've been angry together, yeah, yeah. And, um, but, I, but there's righteousness there because I want to do right by you, right? I, I right. always want to um, do the things um, that I can that's respectful in our relationship, you know, as, as right. brothers, as, as friends, and, and there's that, that righteousness towards God, too. Um, God calls us uh, to to do the right thing. God calls right. us to to live above um, what um, the world would want us to do, um, and so there's that righteousness um, that God calls us to. And, and if I don't have a relationship with Christ, if I'm in a relationship with God, I want to do righteous, right? right. Yeah, the right thing. Yeah, I want to do the right thing, and and that's difficult. I mean, it really is. I mean, and it seems like every week that I preach the Beatitudes, I've always said it's difficult. <laughs> uh, you know, the truth is, it's it's not easy, right? right. I right. mean, it's I mean, it's so much easier. I I think when I think of my life, uh, it's easier to live by my flesh, to do what I want to do, yeah. to go where I want to go, to to live the way that I want to live. Um, you know, to, to, to not talk to my neighbors. Right. Um, it's it's easier for me to um, just kind of go with the world. Well, if I'm not happy with this, I just quit and walk away. Um, or I could wrap my life around making money and uh, achieving all these possessions and material items. Uh, but that's not what Jesus calls us to do. And it's not that we can't have nice things. It's not that we can't have a, a nice house and, and have a good job. But there is a higher calling when we call ourselves followers of Christ. So, so what are some thoughts that you have, Andy, when you're, you're kind of thinking about uh, what does it mean to, to hunger and thirst? And read your NL, NLT version oh, again. Okay. The... God blesses those who hunger and thirst for justice. So justice, you know, um, doing the right thing. Yeah. You know, with, um, even when nobody's looking, Yeah. you know? Yep. And so then for those will be satisfied. Yeah. I like that word satisfied. I, and I think so many people forget that it's, I know in my heart when I do the right thing, um, even when no one else is looking, I feel good. Oh okay. yeah. I mean, there is, there is a sense of satisf satisfaction that, um, when you do the right thing, you just feel good. Um, this morning, um, I uh, fought and battled getting up to go work out with some buddies. Um, we've had this really dumb idea to go work out at 4.30 in the morning. And, uh, and I was just, I didn't feel like going this morning, but when I was all said and done, um, because it, it was a hard thing to do, it was easier for me to go back to sleep, um, I, I felt good afterwards. I was in like a really, really good mood. Um, and I felt energized because I felt like it was it was it was doing something healthy. It was it was doing the right thing. Right. Um, so that same kind of concept. When 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 we when you and I do the right thing and we live by righteous, there is a satisfaction to that. Right. Oh, yeah. um, and, and and when it comes to justice, and just, I mean, yeah. yeah. And, and Andy here um, works at the Department of Corrections. Um, <laughs> Andy sees on a daily basis uh, what happens when we don't follow the, the justice part of it, right? Right. Um, <laughs> yes. And, and that's kind of the, the same concept. It's it's when we do something wrong, when we um, don't live the right life, then we know that we end up in places we don't want to be. Right. You know? yeah. yeah, exactly. <laughs> yeah. And that's not just in prison, right? I mean, that's right. there's guilt and shame. Yeah. Um, there's, Even before I follow him, God, you know, that you know, speaks to me yeah. of all the bad and terrible things that had happened to me and not knowing God was there, but, yeah. you know, and it just turned out bad. Yeah, so, and can, can you think back to where that shame and guilt, just just and, how that felt? Oh, oh yeah, <laughs> unfortunately. <laughs> <laughs> and now that you're living the way that God wants you to live, how are you feeling now when when you think about the righteousness that you're trying to do? Oh that? yeah, it, it it feels um, when God blesses you and the righteousness of the blessing of God, it 
it's the best feeling in the world. Yeah. You know, yeah. it's better than any high I've ever had or <laughs> any rush I've ever went yeah. after. That's awesome. Know, yeah. Is what I try to tell people. Yeah, a lot. that's awesome. That, that is a great testimony right yeah. there. Well, hey guys, uh, thank you so much uh, for being here this week. And, um, you know, we asked that if you would share the video. Um, we believe that the more um, times we can um, get the word out and, and share these devotions, um, hopefully it'll, it'll spark someone's day. It, it'll brighten someone's day. And, and it's kind of cool. I know there's there's people that I kind of stumble upon and they'll watch it and, and I'll get a message. Man, that was really inspiring. It's really encouraging. And uh, and that's why we do this. And, and I think that, uh, that, that there's when we can share the gospel, we can share two guys just having a conversation uh, about scripture. Um, there's something um, that's great about it. There's righteousness about it. Yeah. Um, so, hey, Amen. so I hope this I hope this was encouragement to you. Um, we will be here back 11 a.m. Um, come join us in service. Um, last Sunday, man, it was a powerful service. Um, you know, our, our altars were full. People were praying, repenting, and and some were praising God. And so come join us here at 11 a.m., 149 Vestal Road. Uh, come be a part of our service. Um, there's just nothing like it. Um, so hope to see you guys next Sunday. We love you. And as always, um, reach out to your pastors. Reach out to one of your uh, leadership here. Uh, and he's in our production. Um, he would love to speak to you if you, if you need to speak about spiritual matters or uh, you want some advice. So, so we love you. Uh, we'll see you next week.